Random hammer. Random hammer. Random hammer. I know you're gonna dig this. I'm loving it. Where am I? Where am I? What's going on, everybody? How are you doing today? So here I am in Maple Ridge, British Columbia, visiting a McDonald's. Have you been to your McDonald's today? I haven't been to McDonald's today yet. So I thought I'd check out a McDonald's. I need my morning coffee. And here's a McDonald's right here in front of me. Doesn't look like a McDonald's, but it says it's a McDonald's. Look at this. to get over this to get to that but do you know oh what the hell is this oh they said watch your step they're correct the people who are working this property here are so nice they said sure help yourself to go on to the mcbarge look at this this was a mcdonald's built for expo 86 back in 1986 get it 86 look at that that's the McBarge. That was built as a special McDonald's for Expo 86 here in Vancouver. And it's just been rotting ever since. Now, I don't know if you can hear the sounds that are coming from this, but they're very, very creepy. This, there it is. Stop it. Oh dear God, maybe it's just some dude working. Now, this building, fortress, this ship is just abandoned here on the water. Isn't that crazy? What are you under there? Now, it's alarmed inside, so you cannot go inside anymore. But this was a working McDonald's. This is nuts. This is absolutely crazy. To be on an abandoned barge. That was one. Uh oh. Look at this. Now it's been stripped of pretty much everything, but this was a McDonald's inside. And it was supposed to be fine dining for those who want fine dining at a McDonald's. And thousands of people were on this at one point, at one time, like in and out, streaming in and out at Expo 86. And then afterwards they were like, well, let's keep it at McDonald's. And then McDonald's was like, well, and then. Exactly 100 years ago, Vancouver was incorporated as a city. In 1986, during its centennial year, people from around the globe gather in Vancouver to celebrate the triumphs of human achievement and to have the time of their life at North America's last World Fair of the Century, Expo 86.
be like, that's Burger King. Next boat over. Well, there's the next boat over. It's peen. And it's golden brown. It's coming out. Want to go for a swim? Those are the McDonald's decommissioned uh, curly fries. They never took off. That's them there. They got the water for their... What are you under there? I'm afraid to look. That's really cool too, that boat. Look at that, with the old cooler on the back. I'm gonna take that for a spin. Oh, it's rolling back and forth. That's what that sound is with the wind. Detective work. Oh, that's awful. Oh, flashbacks to my ex-girlfriend. Scott! Scott! I swear it sounds exactly like that. Oh, somebody came and sat and had a... Something soda, a lime soda. It's filled though, it's filled to the brim. I guess that's rainwater. I don't know what that is in there. Hepatitis. Just like that, I got it. Right there. I'm loving it. It's morning. Like it's 10 in the morning, but it's just still creepy. Imagine being on this at night. Wait. Imagine being on this at night. That's what it would look like. Well, not that shade of blue, but close. So the McDonald's sign would have been right across the top there. It went along there back in the day. And people would come out, enjoy the milkshakes, probably the McPizza, because back then I think McPizza was a thing. I don't think they had McFlurries. They definitely didn't have McCafe. And there would have been right here a big blue opening. Like a, like a, I want to call it a bonnet, if that's ship talk, if that's nautical lingo. And they would have come on, just like just like I did. And they would have heard that terrible noise. Probably not Expo 86. This city went nuts. Every city goes nuts for the Expo 86. For, well, for the Expo. Oh, for the Expo 86. Every city goes nuts when there's an Expo or Olympics or Pan Am Games or whatever the hell's going on. Me? If it's not the least in the Stanley Cup, I don't care what's going on. I'm getting crabby if I haven't had my coffee. Scott! Yes, honey, yes. 
my sweetheart. Yeah, baby. Voice like a foghorn. Scott! It says something else now up there. I don't know what it says. Let's see what it says. Oh, dear God. Seaborn, see something. See Thomas Howell. See Thomas Howell. What's in there? Oh, look at the old Canadian flag. Because I'm a torn flag. I'm all, I am really torn. So that's the, uh, well, that's my ex down there. That's the uh, Fraser River. That's where this is located in Maple Ridge. The Mick Barge. Look at that, po portholes? Portholes, port. It's really fucking cool. I want to get up on that ledge. But I feel like if I did, it would just fall down. So I'm not going to. I'm going to give you a good view right here. This is really, this is going to be a nice view. Of the McBarge. That's what they actually call it. The McBarge now. Look at that view. Isn't that amazing? Oh, Seaborn too. Love. Exciting. Life's sweetest reward Let it float It floats back to you The love boat Soon we'll be making another run The love boat Promises something for everyone all right, that's it from the Mick Barge in Maple Ridge on the Fraser River in British Columbia. I am out. I'm going somewhere else. I'm going to go get a coffee. Is it Tim Hortons? Is it McDonald's? I think I owe it to McDonald's today. It's happening over there. There's so many weird sounds around me. I'm out of my element. Get me back to Detroit. This is really cool. Down here, the air is fresh. The air is crisp. There's no... None of that. Right here, it's just me, the open air. I'm going on that. I'm taking it all the way back to Toronto. I don't know the waterways. I'll figure it out. I'll ask for directions. No, I won't. I'm a guy. Okay, peace out. I'm loving it.